I'm going to show you how to make a $5,000 profit on a real estate deal today. You're not going to need any lenders, and you're not going to need to calculate any ARVs, and you're not going to have to do any renovation. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks, the show where I work with people like you, people like my main man, JJ from L.A., baby. What's up, brother? Now, JJ, you got a limited supply of cash. You got about 20 Gs, right? And you're thinking about flipping some houses, fixing, flipping. But the problem is you only got about 20 Gs. You're hoping to use about 80 Gs in hard money loans. And I don't like that plan for you, bro. I don't think that's going to work. So instead, I'm going to show you how to flip a house without using a hard money lender, without using a regular lender, and best of all, I'm going to show you how to flip that house without you having to actually fix it up. I'm going to show you how to just flip the sucker to a flipper. More on that right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just creating a motivated seller's list using the free software trial I got from Holton Wise TV. Oh, my, Steve. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. So what we're going to be doing, man, we're going to be wholesaling houses, right? We're going to be wholesaling them about a $10,000 investment. I'm going to show you how to knock that out into a $5,000 profit like that, right? I like wholesaling quite a bit, but this is wholesaling in the real world, okay? This ain't that guru stuff that you're used to seeing, okay? When I say we're going to flip that ten grand into a $5,000 profit like that, that's if the deal goes through. There's no guarantees this particular deal is going to go through, right? That's what you need to understand when we're getting into real estate investing, whether it be wholesaling, buy and hold investing, anything, a lot of the guru stuff paints a rosy picture, but it doesn't necessarily apply to the real world, right? So when we're doing deals like this, you got to bear that in mind, which is why I created the wholesaling course, right? Wholesaling 101, the ultimate guide to wholesaling in the real world, right? The reason I created that course, which by the way, there's a link to it in the show notes below. Obviously, you're going to want to get that if you're trying to get into this space. The reason I had to create that course is because the other stuff that they're teaching you guys about wholesaling, it is so wrong. It is so blatantly wrong. It's illegal, and even if it was legal, it wouldn't work, and it drove me nuts. So I put together that course, over 10 hours of multimedia content, right? Will you walk away from that course with the warm and fuzzies thinking you're going to become a millionaire tomorrow? Fuck no, you won't, but that's the point of the fucking course, right? Because that's what the other courses will lead you to believe. The other courses will tell you that you take this course, you pay this money, you put the money for this seminar on your credit card, and when you walk out, you'll be a millionaire. That is not an accurate representation of this business. Can you make a lot of money in real estate? You bet your fucking ass you can. When I bought my first property... I was managing a Radio Shack, wasn't making very much money, okay? And I have since sold over $200 million worth of stuff. Real estate's totally changed my life. It can happen, but it's not the norm, it's not easy, and it doesn't happen overnight, right? So you're going to have to bust your ass and have some things go right for you, right? So if you don't have a lot of money, wholesaling is a way to possibly start that. And if you want to know how to actually do it the real way, my course is in the show notes below. I recommend you take that to get a take on what you're doing because if you're doing something, you better be doing it the right way. With all that in mind, assuming you know what we're talking about with wholesaling because you've taken my course, let's talk about this particular deal, right? 3285 West 48th, right? Been on the market for 11 days. They just had to drop the price to 34.9, right? Because nobody's picking it up because it doesn't make sense at 34.9 you can't buy it at 34.9 and do anything with it right it's too fucked up right it's too fucked up okay 
the rehab required on this particular property is too much, right? It's just too jacked. Nobody can buy this property at 34900 rehab it, and do anything with it. It's got too many problems. You would be above the ARV if that's the case, right? So this is a perfect deal. This is prime for us to potentially wholesale it, right? What you find often in the real estate industry, and that's where like wholesalers come into play, is 99.9% .9 of the real estate agents out there are not set up to properly handle and market these. If they were, you wouldn't see this set up at 349. You know who's not going to buy a property like this? Owner occupants, because you can only pay cash, right? Owner occupants are not buying this particular property. It would make no sense. Nobody that has 35,000 and just wants a house to live on is going to buy this. It does it, it, it's illogical, right? The only potential people that can buy a house like this are investors. Investors who are either going to flip the property, so your your flippers, right? Or your flip and holds, your burr investors. Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat. But the ARV on this particular property at most will be 75 or 80. The rehab is going to be huge. There's no way somebody can pay 35 for it. Doesn't make any sense, right? So this seller's doing themselves no favors working with an agent who probably doesn't have experience with investments, doesn't understand the ARV, doesn't understand how to build the bid, doesn't understand how to properly market this, doesn't know who to market it, only knows how to put it on the MLS, offer a 3% co-broke, and hope somebody brings them a buyer. That's not the recipe to sell his property. That's why they have to keep dropping the price. That's why it's not going to be moving anytime soon. That's why the seller probably thinks they may or may not have an unsellable property. You hear agents all the time say, I can't sell this. This is unsellable. Nobody will buy this. It's too screwed up. You hear people say, I got to get it sold to a wholesaler because it's too messed up for the retail market, right? Okay? All that stuff, which is why it's prime for us. We're going to pop in there while they're right now mis mismarketing it, right? Not appropriately handling it, not setting it up for success, thinking nobody's ever going to buy us. We're going to come in, we're going to lowball them. We're going to try to pick it up for 10 grand, right? 10 grand. I'll show you how to make 5 Gs off of this, okay? 10 grand. We buy for 10. Of course, we got closing costs, so we're all in for 11. Then what I'm going to do. I'm going to sell it on your behalf. You don't even have to sell it. I will sell this some bitch for 22 grand on my other show, the Investment Properties for Sales show. Now, I'll put it on the MLS too, but the MLS is probably not what's going to drive a buyer to this, a la this property right here, this listing, right? Investors buy this, right? And I don't just swim in the Cleveland pond, okay? You're watching Holton Wise TV, motherfuckers. What do I got, 60,000 subscribers out there? Investors worldwide and you know what every one of those investors likes every one of those people that subscribe to Holton Wise TV likes making money right well I mean I don't know I shouldn't say that I'm sure there's a lot of people that are subscribed to Holton Wise TV just to troll us but notwithstanding those folks the majority of the people out there watching Holton Wise TV watching this show watching right now looking at me on their motherfucking iPhone right now like making money right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this bad boy up in a situation where it makes money. Can somebody make money buying it for 35? No, but they can make money if they buy it at 22. I'm going to show those Burr investors how to do this deal, making money at 22, right? That means you can't buy it at 22 because you can't do the Burrs because you're just trying to get in, get out, trying to flip it. So you don't have to use hard money loans or this or that, all right? We're just using a small amount of cash, getting in, getting out, right? So for you, we got to spend less. We got to buy it for 10. You put the closing costs in there. That's 11. We sell for 22. You got to pay closing costs again on the sale. And then, of course, the work I do is not free. My team creating the video, marketing your property, putting together the Burr estimate for or the potential burr buyers. None of that's free. That's going to cost you $5,000. So after it's all said and done, you will quickly and easily make yourself a gross profit of $5,005, assuming we get the seller to play ball. That's, of course, the name of the game. I cannot guarantee you if the seller will take that. But hey, guess what? Welcome to real estate investing. Welcome to wholesaling. In the real world, it's a numbers game. Do you know how you get 10 deals like this accepted you do diligence and put in offers on at least 100 properties that is the only way to get 10 of these accepted 
to do exactly what we're doing right now on at least 100 properties. It is a numbers game. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.